all right so what is going on today youtube we will be going back in with the dark lord deck i hope you guys did see this video which i believe i put out on friday uh yeah i should have put a dark lord compilation video out just to get you guys excited for the um for the deck that i am going to be playing but a, another thing that happened along with gozuki coming out dark lord ukoback is coming out so uh it's not going to be called this i mean ukobak uh, it's not going to be called this, so uh, yeah. But this is a uh, extra Dark Lord card, and what's good about it is that you can send any Dark Lord card to the graveyard, which pretty much this deck needs. That's probably why I was running the not probably, but that's the reason why I was running the Dark Grifer, so I can get as many Dark Lords in my grave, so I can fuel this, I can fuel my Call of the Hunters, I can fuel my fuel my Oasis, and all that stuff and like that. And also, it's a level three, so I can go Terra Top, and then just you know normal summon this. Or something like that and like if this gets negated we can just normal summon this send the dark lord and then we're good from there so without further ado we're going to just get straight into the video so uh like always before we get into the video i'd like to say if you guys do enjoy this video leave a like leave a comment and also subscribe if you have not already I upload a minimum of three times a week so you guys definitely have something to look forward to throughout the week and also if you guys can click an app to help support the channel which will be very helpful and i very appreciate you guys because you guys have been doing it so i thank you very much uh keep it going man thank you that uh i'm really appreciative of it so without further ado we're going to get right back into these duels i mean right to these duels not back into these duels all right here we go going up against yuya I uh, cannot read the rest of his name, but we're not going to be able to see it to his turn anyways. And we're going against the 60 card deck, which really sucks. But what we can do is start off with the Superbia and the Dark Lord. And we have opened. Oh, this is pretty good. You see the combo I got going on here? Well, what we can do is this. Uh, no, you know what? We're going to thin our deck first before we do any of that. And we have drawn the Uka back, which is good. So I think we banish the 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 the, 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 the Demok. Yeah, we're going to banish the demock because that's just that is just obviously better now this is probably a bad thing to be doing right now because he is playing a 60 card deck so now that's 20 cards he gets to mill um let's see let's do this and let's go ahead and target the superbia and then we're going to use the superbia to get the x tab and you know what we can do since we do have ukabak which is just such a good card what we can do right now is we can just target this and um i fucked up again completely fucked up and then we could search um what is this this what is that no we want to search this one because i like this one i like this one. and then we could send the other one to the graveyard and then we can activate pot of desires what i should have did was uh normal summon uka back first and then send a uh send another dark lord to uh to what's the name to go into a altar play but it's cool we're going to send temptation because we don't want to banish that then we're going to activate this pot of the wildly desires because um that's just good oh we draw to a terra top hopefully we did not banish the uh tot and tongue board but oh no we didn't so we're good we can set this and we can set this and i, I just think we're fine here hopefully he does not have <laughs> hopefully he just just does not have it because if he does we're just in some, we're in a lot of trouble no, he does. All right, he's starting off with the twilight. Okay, it's twilight. All right, you hit a wolf. All right, well, folks, if you guys have been watching me for any amount of time, you know that they get their um, they get their plays off. So, what do I want to do? Um, well, we're gonna see what he wants to do first. And he's targeting this, so we're going to use it. This destroys a card, so we're going to send um the young superbia to pop the young lila. And pretty much give him no nothing to really activate um if he does go minerva we can like i said we can still pop he already has three light swords in his grave so that that really sucks like he has a judgment dragon on standby that's fine that's going to get popped at the end of the turn and then like we're just gonna we're, oh we're gonna do a lot during the interface okay well no that's fine that's fine you can go ahead and do that ukabak can go to the graveyard that's completely fine with me um, Ukabak is, is, is all right to go to the graveyard. I'm not tripping about that. Okay, he's ending his battle phase. He's going to end his main phase. End phase, we're going to easily use this to get the Demok back. And then we're going to use this just for free. Uh, not for free, really, but uh, we're going to go ahead and put this right back in the deck to pop this young back row because we don't know what it is going to do. And it's a bewildering win, so that's really good. And then we're going to use this to add back the um i guess the allure because that's just free and then we can just banish this so now he doesn't have four 
Oh my god, and we have a uka back. That's just so good. That's just a uka back. That's that's just really good. And we can actually we can just actually take it and just go for game here. So what we're gonna do is we're going to normal summon this terror top because I don't I don't believe that it's, it it shouldn't even be uh I mean there's no reason to keep it in hand. Um, let's go ahead and go Tante. And um, oh, he's gonna get the bewildering win back, but it's okay. He's not gonna. Oh, I do run totem bird. I was wondering like I was wondering if I did run totem bird or not, but I'm I, you know I guess I do. So what we're going to do is just use this for free because whatever we send, we can do a whole bunch with. Oh, we, we send it well. What, what do we send? We send um, Nastin and we send double trade in. Um, but I, I mean, I just think this is game already. I don't even think we can just dig some more. I believe this is game. He can't activate this to turn it set. So I don't even know what, what what's going on. Why is it taking so long? We, did we banish all our call of hunnids and stuff? Ooh, dark creator. We don't want to banish that. We definitely just get rid of this. It's this not really a, a thing that we want to keep. Um, and now it's lagging. So I'm guessing he's just leaving. So what we're going to do is go into battle phase. Then we're going to activate the young effect to uh, use this. We're going to just take this for free. And then we're going to just attack for game because uh, that that's what happens. And I hope he does not play anything. I'm going to be very fucking upset. And then I'm, I'm going to just start crying because if he does, this is going to hurt my feelings. But it doesn't look like he can activate anything. So it, we have a OTK again because Dark Lord is a good and the uh, the, the, the Ukabak is pretty good really good it really helps the deck out you don't got to play stuff like armageddon knight and all that noise and jazz but um yeah so let's get another one all right here we go back again against anime god and i know you can't see it right now but hey we're playing against anime god and look at this what is this one damn it we don't want that one i don't want this one. Oh, and we opened up fucking soul charge which is just it's just fantastic everybody it's just really fantastic but what we're going to do we're going to use this trade in because i don't know if we want to use this what's the name so fast Ooh, fuck. Well, hmm. Well, let's see. Let's see what we, we, we can just get more. Since he's not playing a 62, I mean a 60 card deck. Uh, I think we're good. I think we're fantastic, actually. I'm a, I'm contemplating by playing two Totten Tongue boards. Uh, let's see what we milled. Did we... We got a Curse of the Dark Lord, so... All right, so that's cool. Um, Let's go ahead and... um, Hmm. This is the problem. Now, do I just want to soul charge right now? Because I don't think there's any other way I'm getting anything in a graveyard. I could soul charge right now for two, right? And then use this to search the Ixtail. And then, you know what? Fuck it. Let's use Pot of Cupidity uh, Desires. All right. Well, that, that didn't help any ton. And did we? Okay, we lost that. Oh, fuck. We done lost that. God damn it. Well, that is a... Uh, it's okay. We got multiples of everything I got banished except for this one. This is the best one. So that was a pretty bad one, but it's cool. We're, we're all right. We're going to start with these two. We're going to get these two back because uh, that's just fun. To, why I, did, I don't know why I put that in defense mode. I'm thinking this is the altar. The altar. And uh, I need to find something to put in here that's... Uh, what's the name? That is a... Uh, what was I saying? That is... um that you could uh fucking gain some life points in because this right here is getting a little a little out of the way well that's cool we're just drawing through our whole deck we have not normal summoned yet either so what we can do is we can definitely what is this a special summon okay well we could search another nastin and i think no ukabak doesn't do anything right now I, yeah we just search altar right now i don't even know what i'm thinking of we search alter because this just there's no reason not to. Let's go ahead and get the superbia back, superbia back, then get the X tab back, and we don't have a dark lord in our hand, so that really sucks. Hold on, real quick. All right, so right here, what we can do is just definitely add a. What do we want else? Uh, hmm. We can leave the altar in the grave, and I guess we get we can't use the multiple eggs back, so I guess we just get the uka back. We can just get the Uka back just for, you know, just for no reason. And then what we can do is just go into the Young Hope. The Young Hope. And the only reason I got Uka back is for this. And then uh, I probably should be playing the one that protects all of them. But I don't know which one does that. Um, I really should be playing that one. That that probably is going to be a one-off in this deck. Um, Iris Magician, do not care. I literally don't care. Wisdom Eye. 
I do care about that, but I'm gonna wait till you activate it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you feel comfortable because I hate Wisdom Eye, and Wisdom Eye is not staying on the board. And this is what really sucks about banishing the only, tra you know, the good trap. And this can't pop anything, correct? No. So I think I think we're just good. He can't really attack anything because Hope redirects, right? Does it? Yeah. When an opponent declares an attack, I just detach. Uh, what do you do? You can destroy this card. What type of bullshit is? That's what I'm talking about, man. These these. <laughs> These cards get better and better every fucking goddamn format. It is this ridiculous. It is really ridiculous. And what's really good is that you know we're we're really just you know we really have a good field. What do you do? You can special and then you can special one from your hand. You can banish this. Okay, so you can go Zark. All right. So is he going to use the effect? There's no reason to. You can just pendulum summon. I mean, no, no, there's a reason. I don't know why I said that. Um, Toon Magician. You don't get your effect, right? When this card is Pendulum Summon. Yeah, you don't get your effect. So I don't know why you did that. That was pretty stupid. But what do you treat it as? Okay, that's just a regular Pendulum Monster. That's, yeah. Thank you, Anime Guy. That was, that was pretty bad. All right, so here we go, going up against Parker. And we have one Rock, Paper, Scissors again, which is just good. This is a fairly good hand. We can just start off with the Young. Probably should have upstarted first. That was uh, that would have been a good thing. We're going to get this X-Tab. Uh, I think we're going to upstart. Yeah, we're going to upstart. We're going to see what we can get. We do have another Soul Charger hand, which is just fantastic. Uh, let's go ahead and activate this, which I don't think it was the best idea to do. Yeah, that's exactly why I didn't want to do that. But it's cool because we do have the um, we do have the casting of the Dark Lord, so that's that's okay with me. He's going to maxi, but you, like I said, you only get in one card, so I guess that's the beauty of Dark Wars. You don't you don't really have to give your opponent multiple hundreds of cards. Uh, we're going to use you. I really need to figure out something to gain some life points. Uh, hmm, Ooga back is really good. Uh, but what do I want to banish? What is good to just banish? I guess. I guess Zorado. Zorado is okay to get banished. That's fine. We can use Zorado. I, I just probably should have added. Okay, there we go. We already used this, right? Fuck it. Let's keep it. Hopefully. Oh, wait. We got the one that destroyed, right? Damn it. Oh, we can summon this. Uh, I guarantee you. I, just, I know I banished it. Oh, no. We're we're actually good. We have no more Nastins. We have uh, one more. What's it? Uh, we're, we're good. We're really good. Um, we can act, I could actually just normal some of this, and I think that's what I'm going to do here. Um, what do we have in here? A lore? Soul Charge? That's just amazing. Bam, bam, and bam. So I hope you feel good about your young Maxi because I frankly don't care. Let's go and get this Allure back. And what's good is this when he kills this, I can get back a what's the name? Th that's just so amazing about it. I can get back. Oh fuck! It's a DDD card. Okay, well I can't, I can't, I can't beat that. There's nothing I can do about that. But what's like I said, what's what's really good is that once he kills this, I can get back a, um, I can get back another spell because I have Escape from Darker Dimension, and which is which is crazy because when I was running it at multiples, I never could get this banished. But now since I'm running at one, it's always you know active. And even if that, I don't can't, I can't get the Demog back or he doesn't kill it. I have a Dark Lord Zerato at the end of his turn. So, I can easily stop all of his plays right now. So, this this is all right. I, I feel like we're doing pretty good. We have a casting. Um, we have a temptation that we can easily steal two monsters. So, that's cool. If anything starts to threaten my board, or anything starts to threaten the board, I can definitely get rid of it. He's playing King Leonidas. So, I think that um, if, he try, if, if he goes to, like, Pendulum Summon or use Slime's effect... Um, yeah, we're going to just go ahead and take this card real quick because then I guess that ends his turn. I'm going to take you. And none, I don't think it matters what you really get. What do you do? You can add one faced up. What do you know? No, no, no. You can target one DDD, destroy that, and then special summon a level eight or higher. Okay, well, so I guess I'll chain this and get back the young X tab because it has the highest defense. And once again, if anything threatens my board, we can just once again just take it for free because it just doesn't matter it just doesn't matter um sadly once again oh Kali Yuga 
Yo, what the fuck was that? Well, that, that hurt. That hurt. That hurt really badly, folks. Did not expect Kelly Uga to be back on the board. Did not expect Kelly Uga to be back on the board. He's probably going to kill. Please kill the Demok. That would be stupid to kill the Demok, really, to be honest with you. Actually, that would actually be a smart play because doesn't it destroy his all spells and traps? Yeah, okay. Yeah, that was smart. Yeah, okay, that's smart. Well, we're going to use it right now, so it doesn't really matter. Why? What the fuck? Oh, they can't be activated for the rest of the turn, huh? So if he activate that, we can just definitely get that off. I think we're going to search the X tab. Um, we're definitely going to activate you. Target this. Eradicator. Oh, fuck. What are you calling? Spell cards. Well, that really sucks. We can use you. Um, well, it doesn't matter. We might as well get this. Well, that, that really fucking hurts. Um, I guess we take this. Well, that really sucks. That really fucking sucks. He had an eradicator. That hurts. And I think we lose now. We, I think this is a, this is a foregone conclusion that we lose here. Um, because we have literally no way to get out of this because all, most of our deck has evolved around spells. Um, and he just top decked that. So we lose to an eradicator. That's, that's completely fine. I mean, there's nothing really we can do about this. We're going to let Parker play his thing out. So, uh, I hope you guys did enjoy Monday's video with the Gozuki. I know it's not the best build. I'm definitely going to tweak it and make it better completely a hundred percent better. But what are you guys thinking about playing with um, Gozuki? I'm thinking that I should go. Uh, I should go into the. Uh, I actually really want to play. Um, what the hell is its name? I really want to play. Fuck, I'm trying. I'm trying to remember. Um, I really want to play. Uh, the uh, the uh, what's the name? Ill Vice. Ill Blood with the uh, Super Vice. I really want to play that deck because I really love it. I love going to Power Tool Search and especially with Gozuki. That's just amazing. In hindsight, if I remembered that Kali Yuga is a card, I would have definitely used in Temptation earlier and stopped everything and then pretty much won from there. But like I said, that's that's completely my fault. I completely forgot. I gotta it's it, it's so hard to this is why I like one one deck being dominant. Or you know, only like two or three decks being dominant because you don't really have to, you know, remember everybody's combos. I don't gotta remember Dark Lords, I don't gotta remember how Teratops play. Not Teratops, but Seroids, uh, Burning Abyss. How I, I got to remember all these decks. And yes, I guess that makes you a better player because you know how to play against a, the myriad of things. But then again, that takes away uh, that takes away sometimes when you're trying to, you know, trying to focus on beating one deck. You got to remember every pretty much most of the cards in Yu-Gi-Oh's existence. So, yeah, uh, be right. But then again, this this is also a product of me not playing, I uh, guess, in real life really too much because uh <clears throat> just not had to have the i did not have i do not have the chance to actually do that so i mean i guess not playing against it you know so long i'm used to fucking um that was a good draw uh okay well let's use this and we're gonna definitely get both of these out um to get you then you're going to search to my favorite trap card in this whole goddamn game. Where are you at, young man? We're going to search uh, you. And then we're going to normal summon Ukabak. And then we're going to send the other trap because we only play two. And you definitely do not want to have both of them banished because that will really hurt you. Let's see what we draw. Allure. That's pretty good. Let's banish the Ukabak. Allure. Uh, the Nastin. We're gonna upstart. Oh Jesus Christ! We're 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 just we're going through this thing. We're going through this thing. All right. So we have drawn absolutely booty. And let's see what we have banished. <laughs> Terra top. Okay, we don't care about that. Uh, Power desire is good. Ah, oh, fuck the demock. All right. Uh, trade in. Oh damn. Both calling the hunnets. But that's fine. We banished the rest of the desire. So that means we still have Takum Tom Boy. We still have Oasis. We still have Escape from Dark Dimension. We still have, uh, I believe, one more trade, uh, and then one more lore. We're good. 
we're good. We have everything pretty much set up. Um, wow, fuck, I really, I, okay, I know after this, well, I don't know, this is probably the last video, because I don't want to keep them, you know, keep a 30-minute video, because, you know, it is, it, it kind of shows that, you know, a lot of people don't like to tune in to 30-minute videos, and I know damn well I don't, because sometimes you just, you just be wanting to fucking, you know, just want to watch a video, and that's to be it, you know, to be the end of it, but, uh, wait, it said if this is, uh, um, is this card destroyed by battle? Before resolving an opponent's monster effect. Okay. All right. Yeah. I remember this because I hated this card when it came out. Hated this deck with a passion when it came out. But it's it's all right now. I'm not tripping. But but yeah, like I said, you know, that is a product of not pretty much playing all the time. I don't think we have a Nastin in the graveyard. So we're going to do this. Always hit the first one set. Always hit the first one set. All right. X tab a third one. That is uh, absolutely bonkers. That we have drawn another one. Ooh, we draw a terror top. So what we can do is definitely. We don't want to steal nothing right now. Um, yeah, let's go terror top. Let's go totem bird. Go totem bird. Pretty much lock out the door. But yeah, like I said, I, I'm, I'm trying to keep it below 30 minutes or keep it a, a cool 20 something minutes because I know people don't want to really watch 30 minute videos all the time. And I gotta add, and I, I gotta slow down on the West names too. The the replays, like the replays are um like I gotta stop making them like four hundred <laughs> like four hundred fucking times. Now like uh, uh you guys know I don't know if you guys even know what I'm talking about. Um I gotta stop making them as uh pretty much I don't even forgot what I was gonna say. Alright, I for, I forgot what I'm gonna do here. Okay, so I'm gonna use this. We're going to go ahead and target Alter, and we're going to get back X tab, right? And then we can summon. Uh, we can go that for free, I guess. I don't know why I'm doing this. I, I'm completely messing up here, folks. Oh, I can do that. Yeah, that 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 is another thing I can't do. Let's see. We're going to use you. Get ahead and get the. Yeah, we're going to get the nast in. Then we're going to use the Nastin to target the altar. We're going to get you back. Then we're going to use you. Nope. I'm going to search this again. Just in case. I mean, I, I think this is game already, but just in case. I'm going to discard the Serperbia, pop you. And then go into the young man known as Alsei. That's 23, 3019, which is 53 plus 19 which is what 60 no that's 72 all right so that's complete game and you know what we have to do this because if we don't do this and totem bird negates we're not going to be able to uh i guess let's say uh a lore of darkness because you can't go wrong with a lore of darkness oh well i was going to call soul charge but i, I kind of really didn't want to hit it so let's start the purbia put that right back um, we're gonna put it to the top of the deck. Short. Sure. Hopefully, we don't run into another Gores because that that really hurt my feelings. And it looks like we have won again. Oh no, it's a Gores. It's a fucking Gores. It can't be. No, 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 not again. We have another Gore sighting. We have another Gore sighting. Oh wow, I didn't get what the what was activating then. I don't get it. What was he? Oh, well, the GG to you too, Mr. J Joe. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Um, yeah, so I guess the only... Well, let me write that. Let's, let's go back to the deck list one more time. All right, so I guess it's it's this one. I have to add at least one of these because this protects a, every Dark Lord if they'll be destroyed by card effects. And as you see, we do get a, quite a lot of bit... We get quite a bit of um, Dark Lords on the board. And it's also an extra Dark Lord target. So... That's definitely good. I don't know. This card is okay, but it's not that good. And then the rest of them are... I really want to play this, but you got to tribute summon this. So, yeah. Um, what can you do? All right. Tribute summon, special summon Dark Lords from your hand. Up to the number of effect monsters your opponent controls. Jesus Christ. Why you control another Dark Lord? Your opponent cannot target this card. Once per turn, you can send the cards from the top of your deck equal to the number of Dark Lords on the field. And you do gain five. Okay, so I guess this solves kind of the life points problem, but... Not really the best option, I guess, because you can't special summon it. 
um, as you can't do with these either. So you can't special them from the graveyard. So it's kind of pointless. And this one can't even be special summoned. So yeah, that is it for today. Hope you guys did enjoy it. Let me know what you think. Um, any suggestions you guys have or whatnot. Yeah, definitely going to put one of these in here. So let's put it right there. And we're definitely going to be uh, adding this. I just don't know. Probably going to take out a desire. You know what? Let's just take out a desires. I really like desires, but uh, we got to take one out. And there we go. We can just keep it off with that. There you go. Where is that? Here it goes. That one dark lord that protects everybody. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy it. See you guys tomorrow with another video.